Hello, hello, welcome to Tabata. I'm just gonna share my screen for a few moments here. Twelve o'clock on the dot right now. We'll leave this up until twelve o two, and then we will get rolling with our Tabata class today. <clears throat> All body weight, as always. You only need an area about the size of a mat. All right, stop my video and stop this share right now. All right, so as I said before, my name is PD. this is Tabata. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and post the Spotify playlist link in the chat. We've got an 80s theme today, so I'm super excited about that. All right. So I'm coming at you from BC Campus Recreation with Tabata today. So what Tabata is, one Tabata is eight rounds of 30 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. For today, we are doing one Tabata four times over. So um, again, eight rounds in each of those Tabatas. In between each Tabata set, we're gonna take a minute and a half break. Make sure you've got water nearby um, and we will go ahead and get started. So if you are following along with the playlist with me, go ahead and press play on that in five, four, three, two, one, and go for it. We are gonna get started with a warm up today. So coming down to the mat, what I want you to do is come into a plank position. We're gonna take the right knee up by the right hand, left leg extends back and go ahead and sit down over the front leg here. So since we're repeating one Tabata four times today, you're gonna to get really comfortable with the eight exercises that we're doing. I really want you to focus on quality of exercise because we're gonna get the quantity by doing it four times over. Go ahead and switch up leg here. So left leg in front, coming down onto forearms if you can. If you gotta stand up in your hands, that's okay. Coming back up to a plank position, we're gonna push back into a downward dog. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs, open up the chest towards the ground, and then push those hips forward for a plank. Holding here, squeezing quads, glutes in between the shoulders. Press it back, downward dog. Get a stretch. Maybe feel a stretch under the armpits and the lats. Coming forward into a plank, holding here just for a couple of seconds, and press back into that downward dog. We've got one more time to go here, coming forward into a plank, squeezing the core, pull belly button the spine, and push those hips back for a downward dog. Now I want you to take the hands and walk them back towards the feet until you are in a standing position. From here, we're going for a torso twist. So legs out wide of the hips, a twist of the torso. You can release the ankles as well, but we want to see the majority of movement through the upper back. All right, next up, we're gonna take some hip hinges. So heels right on your hips. What I want you to do, we are hinging at the hips, pressing our hips back towards the wall behind us, and then squeezing glutes and hamstrings to stand up at the top here. Weight stays in the heels, back stays nice and flat. Just warming up some muscle groups that we're gonna to use today. Awesome. Next up, we're taking some squats. Take those heels slightly out wide of the hips, Toes pointed slightly out, sitting the hips back and down, chest stays proud, back stays flat. Just some easy squats here. It's okay if you don't hit your full range. Going for three, 
two, one more time. All right, warming up the hip flexors. We're gonna take the knee from the inside to the outside. Taking a couple steps in between, switch up the leg. Act like you are stepping over a chair, a stool, a bench, whatever you got around you. Take it the other way out now, so the knee goes from the outside to the inside. Really get those hip flexors nice and warmed up. One more time. All right, arms out wide. We've got some nice arm circles, nice small circles going forward here. We want to build heat in the arms. About rotate your cuff, cuff, scapula, thoracic region, squeeze in between those shoulder blades. Let's do medium circles now. So we're increasing our range of motion just a little bit. Go ahead and squeeze the fist to activate all the muscles in the arm. And nice big circles now. Full range of motion. If you gotta go one arm at a time to really hit that range of motion, that's cool too. We wanna feel a stretch in the shoulders. Again, building some heat with this warm up here. All right, take those arm circles back. Nice big circles, full range of motion. Again, if you gotta go one arm at a time, that's cool. Start to think about your breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice medium circles here. Building some heat, clenching the fists. And finish off with some nice small circles. There we go, there we go, stay with it. And relax, shake those arms out. All right, for anything that still feels particularly tight, go ahead and keep stretching, keep moving it around, keep warming up. I wanna go through our eight exercises that we're gonna work on in our Tabata today. So exercise number one, we've got a little combo here. We're gonna do a jump squat to four high knees. Looks like this. Jump squat, up, one, two, three, four. Squat, up, one, two, three, four. Option here, step out into a squat, come back in and do a high knee march. So if you wanna take that impact out of it, squat, step in, high knee march. Either way, whether you're jumping or not, we've got one jump squat, to four high knees or marches. Exercise number two, we are doing an inchworm walk. So working on the arms, working on the core right here. We saw this in the warm up. What I want you to do, stretch up to the top, hands go down towards the ground, walk them all the way out into a plank position, and then walk them back in. And then we do it again, a little inchworm. Option to come onto the knees in the plank here, just for a second and then walk those hands back in. So we're bracing the core, working the arms in that exercise. Exercise number three, we've got a squat to a lunge. So it's gonna look like this. One squat, take the right leg forward for a lunge. Back to a squat, left leg forward for a lunge. On the lunge, you want both knees to hit 90 degrees. You wanna drive through the front heel and we're keeping our back nice and flat on both exercises here. Awesome. Exercise number four, we have a push-up series. So we're gonna do a uh, push-up with narrow hands, hands right under the shoulders. We're gonna take our hands out a little bit, a push-up here, and then we're gonna go out wide for a wide fly push-up. So in practice, you can go knees, toes, or knees under hips. We're gonna go narrow, take the hand out, mid, Take the hand out wide. Again, knees, toes, or knees under hips. Narrow, elbows in, hand out, mid, and wide for that push-up series. All right. Exercise number five. We're gonna do a hamstring curl. So for this hamstring curl, option to bring the hands into it or leave them by your hips. All we're doing right here is taking a step to each side Again, you can add the hands in if you would like. Don't have to. We're taking the heel back towards the hip. If we're going low impact, we can just take the bounce out of it. So just going for a curl here, taking knee, or I'm sorry, heel back towards the hip. All right, we're keeping our back nice and flat, chest is proud, core is in tight. Exercise number six. We have four mountain climbers and a rotating plank. So it's gonna look like this. We're down in the plank position. We go one, two, three, four, open up to the side. Do it again. One, two, three, four, opening up to the other side. Options here. We can take the mountain climbers and then drop down to a knee. If 
for the side plank. Two, three, four, drop down to a knee for the side plank. Exercise number seven. We are working on a three-step pause bicycle crunch. So, lying down on your back. Knees are above the hips, hands touching the temple. We're gonna go one, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. Options here, just go with the lower body. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three, pause. You can also touch the feet down as an option. One, two, three, pause. And exercise number eight, we're working on a plank walk. So you can go elbows or hands for this one. We're gonna come into a plank position and just do a little lift of the legs. Try to keep those hips low. Option to go on the knees, you're just gonna straighten the leg out. Try to keep hips and shoulders squared to the ground. All right, those are our eight exercises. We're gonna get super comfortable with them. We've got the Tabata four times today. Let's get time number one started. So I'm gonna set our timer up. Remember, we are starting with that jump squat to four high knees, either the high impact or low impact option. All right, we're going for that first round right after this ad. Okay. In three seconds, head for that first exercise. One, go for it. Jump squat, four high knees. Two, three, four. Jump squat, one, two, three, four. Get the knees up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Jump squat, one, two, three, four. Option here. Step out for that squat, step in, big marches. Two, three, four. Step out, squat, step in, big marches. On either squat. We're taking the hips back and down, keeping the chest up and proud. Driving through our heels to get to the top. Time. Next up, we have the inchworm. Coming to the back of your space here. Remember, we're reaching up, we're walking our hands all the way out. Going in seven seconds. In three, two, one. Big reach up, hands go down, walk them out. Plank, knees or toes, lock them back in. Do it again. We want to squeeze the core here, belly button to the spine. There we go. You should already feel a little bit of heat in the shoulders. There we go, there we go. The more steps you can take with your hands, the more work you're gonna get. Keep breathing. Time, 20 seconds to rest here. Next up, we have our squat to lunge combo. Squat to lunge combo. If you're not comfortable with the lunge, that's okay. Just stick with the squat. Three, two, one, let's do it. Heels outside of hips, toes pointed slightly out. Squat down, forward lunge. Do it again. Squat down, other leg this time, forward lunge. Now let's focus on the lunge for a second. We wanna make sure that the front knee doesn't go past the toe. We wanna make sure that we're driving through the heel to come back up from that lunge. Now remember, option right here, just stay with the squat. Three seconds, two, one, and time. 20 seconds to rest here. Next up, we have our push-up series. Narrow, hand, mid, hand, wide. Knees, toes, or knees under hips for this one. Five seconds. Go for it. Narrow push up, elbows in, take the hand out. Mid push up, and we take it wider for the wide fly push up. Start it back over. Narrow, mid, and wide. We want to keep the hands slightly below the shoulders. We want to squeeze in between the shoulder blades. Good stuff, good stuff. Remember, knees, toes, or knees on your hips for these push-ups. Nice job, nice job. Keep breathing. And time. Next up, we have our hamstring curl. So remember, we can go hands with a bounce, just like this, or we can go hands to hips and take the bounce out of it. Totally up to you. Three, two, one, go for it. No matter what option you're choosing here, 
Make sure you're keeping your chest nice and proud. Back is nice and flat. There we go. So I'm pulling my core in and I'm bringing my heel towards my hip. You should feel that fire in the hamstring, back of the leg. Again, we can take the balance out of it right here. Right here. Find some stability. Good stuff, good stuff. Five seconds to go. Nice work, nice work. Stay with it. And tie, 20 seconds of rest here. Next up, we have our four mountain climbers with a rotating plank. So coming down to that plank position, we're gonna run our knees in four times and then open up to the side. Hands on your shoulders. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Rotate, open up. Keep those hips in line. One, two, three, four. And open. Option here. One, two, three, four. Take it down to the knees to open up. One, two, three, four. Take it down to open up. An additional option. We can just stick with this rotating hover. Pull that belly button into the spine. Keep breathing. Time. Take that rest. Next up, we have our three-step pause bicycle. So lay on your back, getting ready for that bicycle crunch. Knees are gonna come up above the hips, hands at temples. Don't pull on your neck, just support. Go for it. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Good stuff. Here we go. So we're pausing on that third rep. Two, three. One, two, three. Options here, remember. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just take that upper body out of it. Touch the feet to the ground. Keep bracing that core no matter what option you're doing. Time. Next up, we have our plank walk. So flipping it over. Again, you can do this plank on your elbows. You can do it on your hands. Whatever feels best for you. I'll be able to go on my hands this round. Remember to squeeze your belly button into your spine. Brace your core. All right, plank walk, let's do it. Just a little lift of the heel. We wanna make sure that the hips stay aligned with the rest of the body. Options to find more stability on your toes. Take your legs out a little bit wider or come on down to the knees and then we're just straightening the leg. All good work no matter what you do. Keep that back nice and flat. Belly button pulled into the spine. And time, take that rest. We have a minute and a half to breathe here. So in this minute and a half, make sure that you keep moving around. Take a little lap around whatever space you're in. Grab some water if you need it. A little sip, don't chug that water. Maybe a little dancing if you're listening to my 80s playlist. We want to let the heart rate come down. We want to let the muscles recover just a bit. Really, in this class, we want to achieve this with our heart rate. So we want it to go up and down and up and down. In the big breaks between the Tabata, we want it to come all the way down so we can take it all the way back up. All of those little peaks are going to combine to create a post-exercise effect that you're really going to like. It's going to boost your metabolism so that you are high energy for the rest of the day. You want to make sure that you're refueling after this workout as well. All right, we got 30 seconds. We're going to hit Tabata number two. So that's the same thing we just did a second time. This time, I really want you to focus on that exercise quality. Now that we've seen them once, try to make every exercise that you do just a little bit better. All right, 10 seconds. We're going to that jump squat to four high knees. Jumping or walking. Three, two, one. One, let's do it. Jump, squat, high knees. One, two, three, four. Jump, high knees. One, two, three, four. Use those arms to give you some momentum. Squat, one, two, three, four. Walking option here. Take the squat out. March, two, three, four. Take the squat out. March, one, two, three, four. We got eight seconds to go. One, two, three, four. Nice work, nice work. Three. Two, one, and time. 
20 seconds to rest here. Next up, inchworm. Find the back of your space. Whew. We're going to build some heat in the shoulders here with a little bit of core activation. There we go. Go for it. Hands up. Down to the ground. Nice little steps all the way up. Plank position. Walk it back. Brace that core. Keep breathing. Nice work. Nice work. Feel that heat build in the shoulders. Remember, you got an option to drop down to the knees of the plank right here. Come back up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Stay with it. Stay with it. And time. Take that break. Next up, we have our squat to lunge. In eight seconds, we're going for that squat to forward lunge. In three, two, one, go for it. Squat, forward lunge. Squat, other leg goes forward. So we're keeping this chest up nice and prone. Core is braced the whole time. Take these nice and slow and controlled so you really get good quality movement. Make sure that toe in the front lines up with the knee. Good stuff, good stuff. Stay with it here. We're almost there. Keep that chest prone, back flat. And time, 20 seconds to rest here. Next up, our push-up series. Narrow, mid, wide. Coming down to the ground, knees, toes, or knees on your hips for these push-ups. Go for it. Elbows in nice and tight, they scrape the body. Take a hand out, elbows diagonally back and down. Watch fly. Good stuff, good stuff. Keep breathing. Remember, we got four sets of these. We wanna make it through all of them. Take whatever option you need to get good quality work. Nice job, nice job. We wanna make sure we're not putting all of the weight in our, the heels of our hands. Time, take that rest. Next up, we have our hamstring curl. So remember, you can do it with a bounce or you can take that bounce out of it. Nice and stable. Going in, three, two, one, let's hit it, hamstring curl. There we go, there we go. So you can work the arms or not, totally up to you. Nice job, nice job. Keep working on that hamstring curl. Woo! Starting to feel a burn in the back of the legs. So we've got like a sneaky balance challenge in here as well, right? Because right here, we're up on one foot. We're building some stability in that standing leg. Three, two, one, time. 20 seconds to rest. Next up, four mountain climbers with the rotating plank. Coming down into our plank position. Hands under the shoulders, or if you're on your elbows, make sure your elbows are under your shoulders. We're gonna run the knees in four times and then rotate to the side. Go for it. One, two, three, four, rotate. Keep that core brace. One, two, three, four, other side. Good stuff, good stuff. Keep breathing. Two, three, four, rotate. Options. Take the mountain climbers nice and slow. Come down to the knees, open up to the side. Nice work, nice work. Stay with it, stay with it. Time, take that rest. Flipping it over for our bicycle. Remember, it's a three-step pause. We're going one, two, pause, or one, two, three. Any option you wanna use, five seconds to go. Bring those knees above the hips. Hands to temples, if that's your option, go for it. One, two, three, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Good work, good work. Lock that core in. See if you can knit your rib cage together. Nice work. Again, option here. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Good stuff. Stay with it. No matter what option we are working. 
and time. Breathe here, flipping it over for our plank walk. So for the plank walk, again, you can be on your elbows or you can be on your hands. Make sure whatever you are on is right under your shoulders, bringing the hips down in line with the shoulders as well. Go for it. Just little baby walks with the feet. Check it out here. In my elbow option, I just want to make sure my hips are down low as well. Again, we've got knees, just straightening out the leg here. Good stuff, good stuff. Keep breathing. Keep those hips square to the ground. I don't want to see any rocking from side to side. Nice work. Time. Take that break. Tabata number two. Done. We've got a minute and a half to breathe. So catch your breath. Walk around. Stay nice and light and loose. Grab water if you need it. Small sips. Try not to chug it. We're officially halfway through. We've got this Tabata two more times. Grab a stretch of anything that feels particularly tight. Think about the first two Tabatas that you've done. What exercises feel super good? What exercises can we take a little bit slower so we get some better quality? Keep breathing, heart rate should be coming down. Try and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth if you can. We've got about 30 seconds left to rest. All right, we're about to head into Tabata number three. So we wanna think about breathing and maintaining a good pace through these sets. Try and keep working a whole 30 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. We're going back to that jump squat to four high knees. Three, two, one, go for it. Jump squat, four high knees. One, two, three, four. Use the arms. Come on, come on. One, two, three, four. Set number three now. So we should be feeling pretty comfortable with whatever option we're using. Nice work, nice work. I want the most energy in these rounds. Come on, come on. Two, three, four. Here we go, here we go. Push it, push it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. 20 seconds to rest. Next up, we have our inchworm walks. Walking the hands all the way out to a plank, walking it back. Eight seconds. So standing in the back of your space, we're gonna reach up first and then walk out. Go for it, reach up, walk the hands out. And remember, the more steps you take with your hands, the more work your shoulders get. Good stuff, good stuff. We're also getting a little sneaky stretch in the back of the legs. All kinds of purposes to this exercise. Stay with it, stay with it. Remember, find a pace that you can work the whole 30 seconds. And time. Take that rest here. Next up, we have squat to lunge. So find some space. We're going to go into that squat to lunge pattern. Going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's hit it. Squat down here, forward lunge. Nice work, nice work. Again, make sure this toe, this front toe is in line with the knee. We don't want the toe to come in or out. We want to nice and in line. Drive through the heels on both the squat and the lunge. Stay with it. Remember your option. If you don't want to do the lunge, just stick with the squat here. Three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds to rest. Next up, we have our push-up series. Narrow, mid, wide. Hitting all kinds of muscles in the upper body. Knees, toes, or knees under hips for these push-ups. All options are good options. Two, one, let's do it. Narrow, take it out. Mid, take it out again. 
Why? Make sure you are creating space between your shoulders and ears the whole time. Pull those shoulder blades down and back. Find a squeeze in between the shoulder blades. There we go, there we go. Nice work, nice work, keep breathing. Almost there. Time, take that rest. Next up, hamstring curl. So again, with the bounce or just nice and stable. Either way you wanna roll. Five, four, three, two, one, go for it. Hands are optional as well. You can always keep them down in your hips. There we go, there we go. Feeling the burn in the back of the body. Nice job, nice job. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Brace that core. We want a nice straight back. Nice work, nice work. 10 seconds to go, come on, come on. Staying with it, staying with it. Four, three, two, one. Time, 20 seconds to rest here. Next up, we have our four mountain climbers with the rotating plank. Almost there, we're almost through Tabata number three. We've only got four Tabatas to do today. The end is near. Go for it. Four mountain climbers, one, two, three, four. Open up for that plank. One, two, three, four. Open it up. Stay with it, stay with it. Big open. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can always drop down to a knee for the rotating plank. You can also just stick with that rotating plank. Keep breathing, keep moving. And time. Take that rest. Next up, we have our bicycle three-step pause. Take it to your back. We're going in about 10 seconds. Hands to tempo or hands under the lower back. Let's do it. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay with it. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Press that lower back to the ground. No matter which option you're doing, check it out right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Feel your core squeeze on the pause. Time, take that rest. Next up, exercise number eight of Tabata number three, we have the plank walk. Now, if this is starting to be too much, come to a tabletop and kick the legs back here. Go for it. Little baby walks, little baby walks. All kinds of options. We've got this one. We've got the knee option where we're straightening the leg. And if you like, bring the knees under the hip, kick the leg back here. Any option we use, we're keeping hips and shoulders nice and stable and square to the ground. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, stay with it, keep breathing. Time, take that rest. Awesome work. We've got one more minute and a half break. We're gonna do the Tabata one more time. Your fourth set. Make sure you take it a lot, shaking it up. Things should be starting to burn at this point. For me, my biceps burn a little bit, my shoulders and my hamstrings. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Big deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Stay nice and light and loose, keep moving around. One more set to go. We got this, we got this. No surprises. We know the exercises we're doing. We know what option feels good. We know what pace feels good. We're good to go. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, team, we got 30 seconds. We're about to jump into our last Tabata. The last one you got for class today. Grand total of 45 minutes of high intensity interval training. That is 
what we're here for. Heart rate should be feeling pretty good. Breath should be feeling pretty back under control. We go in 10 seconds with our jump squat to four high knee runs. <clears throat> Last time you gotta do this exercise. Ready? Go. Squat, high knees. One, two, three, four. Squat, high knees. One, two, three, four. Use those arms. Work hard, work hard. Don't have any regrets when you get done with this class. Give everything you have. Come on, come on, come on. Remember, your option here. Step out, come in, big march. Two, three, four. Step out, step in, big march. Nice work, nice work. And time. Inchworm walk next. Hey, guess what? Done with your jump squats and high knees. Take your place with the inchworm. Exercise number two of eight. Last time we got. Go. Reach the arms up. Walking those hands out to plank position. Walking back in. Good stuff. We reach back to the top. Your shoulders should be starting to feel some fatigue. Good stuff. Good stuff. Stay with it. I know these are getting hard. You got this. You got this. Here we go. Here we go. Pull that belly button into the spine. And time. Woo! 20 second rest here. Next up, we have the squat to the forward lunge. So we're alternating those legs. Squat, right leg, squat, left leg. Three, two, one, go for it. Sink the hips back and down. Step the leg forward for a lunge. Hands can go wherever feels comfortable. Maybe on the hips, maybe right in front like this. Make sure you're keeping that chest pro, back nice and flat and core braced. Ooh, it burns. Embrace the shape. Eight seconds to go. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds to rest here. Next up, we're moving into our push up series for the last time. Narrow, mid, wide. All parts of the upper body here. Knees, toes, or knees under hips. Let's do it. Narrow, take the hands up, mid, take the hands out, wide, Woo. start it over. Squeeze in between those shoulder blades. You've got this. Check it out, knees under hip option right here. Also got knees or toes. Good stuff, good stuff. Narrow, mid, wide. Awesome work, go the whole round. Time, take that rest. Woo, pop it up. Next round, we have our hamstring curl. Last time you gotta do this. Woo, the back of my legs are burning. That's good stuff. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Hamstring curl. Here we go, here we go. Again, arms are optional. What I really care about is that your back is flat, chest is proud, and we're bringing those heels all the way back to the hips. Woo! My left hamstring is yelling at me. Stay with it, stay with it. Remember, we got a sneaky balance challenge in here as well. All kinds of good stuff with this exercise. And time, 20 seconds to rest here. Next up, we have our four mountain climbers with the rotating plank. We are in our last three rounds of Tabata today. Hands or elbows underneath the shoulders. Ready, set, go. Four mountain climbers. Two, three, four. Rotate. Keep that core brace. One, two, three, four. Rotate. Breathe. Nice work, nice work. Two, three, four. Rotate. Nice work, nice work. Remember, you can take the knee down always. Good stuff, good stuff, finish up the round. And 
time. Flipping it over onto our backs for the bicycle crunch. Remember, three bicycles and then a pause on the third. Five seconds. Find your option. We got this. Last time we got to do this. Go for it. One, two, pause. One, two, pause. Again, feel that core lock in when you pause. Good stuff, good stuff. Keep in mind your option here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice work, nice work. One, two, three. All the way to the end. Time. All right, team. We're in our last exercise. We've got our plank walk to finish out our Tabata training today. Hands or elbows under the shoulders. Go for it. Little tiny steps. Little tiny steps. Squeeze the core. Pull the hips down in line with the shoulders. No matter what option you're doing, stay active. Keep that back nice and flat. We got this. We got this. There we go. There we go. All the way to the end. Time. Relax. Coming down into a child's pose. I'm going to stop the timer here. Awesome, awesome stuff. Sink those hips back towards the heels and breathe here. Try to get that heart rate to come down. Breathe it in through the nose and out through the mouth. Feel your breath expand across your back. Then go ahead and walk those hands all the way over to the right, sink into the left hip. Should be feeling the stretch down the left side of your body into the lat, under the armpit. Keep breathing. All right, walk those hands all the way to the other side. So walking them all the way to the left, sinking into our right hip. We want to feel the stretch down the right side of the body right here. Whew. All right, finding a seated position, getting a little stretch in the hamstrings. We're gonna take one leg in, one leg out, reach towards that toe. Awesome work today, Tabata team. We got really, really comfortable with our one Tabata today. Four rounds just to make sure we're really getting a good quality of exercise. We work total body, all of the things checked all the boxes, and we worked at high intensity intervals, which is, again, really great to boost your metabolism. We're coming up into a figure four stretch. So one foot on the ground, the other foot comes over the knee. Take that elevated knee out wide. Switch it sides here. Other foot goes down on the ground. Other leg comes up. Keep control of that breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Heart rate should be in recovery mode, coming back down under control. From here, we're coming to a standing position. We would do a little quad stretch. So grab one foot, finding your balance here. Somebody told me once that if you take your hand to your ear, it helps with balance. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but it seems to work. Switch your legs. All right, nice big shake of the arms, nice big shake of the legs. Neck circles one way, the other way. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today for our Tabata. My name is Petey, coming at you from BC Campus Recreation. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, requests, shoot me an email at petersrx at bc.edu. Thank you again for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day.